Do you have my face nicely? Hello everyone, how are you? This is day was. <laughs> Why are you making your face like that? Hi people. So welcome to another day of vlogging. I don't know, this is part four or five. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been losing count. And today was a hectic day. So I couldn't do like the in-betweens getting ready because I was late. I have to meet the person across the camera, the one who's taking the video now. I have to do my nails, I have to buy some things because the strikes are starting tomorrow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna move around. And yeah, so we just yeah, this place called it's called what? Golden. Oh, I even have a menu in front of me. It's called Golden Star, right opposite Nation Center. You got it right, yes. The last time I was there's a very high hotel somewhere up there in the south. The last time I was that side, and I could see the whole of the view. This one is just giving me a little kind of view. Bihi Towers. So it's called that. Is it that one, eh? Yeah, it's on Bihi Towers. Bihi Towers, yes. I was there the last time. So if they were enjoying here, yeah, I think I have 30 minutes before I go do my nails. Because the nail, I had to call the person and be like, please give me an extra time. Because it took me two hours to get to town. It's hectic being in Nairobi, that's what I can say because it's like a maybe 20 30 minutes drive, it took me two hours. So it's because of the demos, so everyone is in town today. Oh, yeah, I, okay, everyone said to get their lives sorted. I thought I was the only one, anyway. Yeah, so we'll show you the, around the building and then I'll take you with me when I'm about to go do my nails so that we can talk about a serious topic, right? Cool stuff. So I happened to mention that I wanted us to have a serious chat <laughs> and weird enough I'd been contemplating not sharing this video because of the um, topic I want to touch on but then I was like ah, this is not the first time or the second time I've tried to set it aside I think it's just the time was right. So I wanted us to have a chat about one of my biggest insecurities and I think most of you might have noticed. And I think for now, I'd like to believe that it's not that much of an insecurity to me. Maybe since the last time I touched on this topic, which was in 20, 2020, I've worked up the courage to not allow it to define me or interfere with my confidence as it did before. And that's around my fingers, right? As you can clearly see. I know most people usually say they don't even notice because I work so normally like and even from the way I always talk clearly I talk a lot with my hands and if you can like you've seen my Instagram stories make sure you follow me there um, even just on a day in day to day basis kind of chat I always end up using my hands and maybe that's the reason why people never take note of it 
but some people are very uh, vigilant and they see it right so when i touched on this in 2020 it was like a big insecurity of mine and i just wanted people to be aware of it and i'm so happy that people got to relate to the story that video should have been on my instagram still but since they changed from i IGTV to Reels I think they maybe took down the long video so it's not there and I wanted to have a record of this conversation on a platform that I know is not going to get rid of it for a while (laughs) okay so one of the things I've always struggled with is going to do my nails and I remember for a couple of years I was always hiding behind oh I think it's a lot of money oh I think um, it's not for me and my nails are always looking crappy until this one day I was like you know what Jane just go you know because I was always wondering at the back of my head the nail tech would be working on me would she be wondering would she be asking me questions and so far I've only gone to three people and this guy in this video is actually the third person the first person I went to she never asked it was just normal and then the actually it's not three to four the next person i went to is like now like my common south african lady uh the one who does my nails every day um she never asked and i remember she's the one person who became so confident that the work she did on my hand she posted and one of the feedback she gave me was people would always ask her uh oh, what happened to her she'd be like no she's okay she's normal did you see anything wrong with her and she gave me so much confidence in the sense that she became so close to me because she responded to when people had questions around me in that sense. The next person I went to, I uh, never asked anything. And now this guy, even to him, it was just normal, you know. So slowly by slowly, I'm working my way out of that insecurity of what are people going to say. And honestly speaking, this thing has affected me, not just um, with this so-called nail stuff but also with regards to how i relate to people and men that i want to date i always feel like it's a it's a conversation i'm not ready to have you know like it's a challenge for me but i've walked my way through it and i'm always like if someone asks me i'm going to definitely tell you it's not like i looked for it god just decided baby girl i'm gonna give you brains i'm gonna give you everything else but you can never have everything so there's just one thing that decided okay let me not give this one to her unfortunately that's what it, that's that that's it right and i remember even during this vacation it was a conversation i was having off camera with the guy who ended up taking so much of the content in diani well according to him he says he hadn't noticed he only noticed when i brought up the conversation and what he said was i wouldn't even have known and i was like it's not only you i had the whole classmate in the university for four years and he only came to notice towards the end like i would be studying with this guy every day i'll be showing him examples every day but he only came to realize at the end like towards the end of our studies that oh actually jane is like this like this and this and in this conversation i was having with this guy one of the things i mentioned to him is if a friend of mine who actually studied genetics had not explained to me exactly what happened to me then I definitely would not have had kids because this is an insecurity that I don't think I would want to pass down to someone that I love because it took 20 something years of my life to work up the courage of being of saying well this is how God decided it to be so just go on and leave you understand it took me 20 something years to find someone else who was like me because I think in that 2020 when I touch on the story there was a couple of Instagram posts that I saw of people look like me, right? Well, this other person was only one hand. I'm on the both hands. So it was something different for me. I won't lie. But yeah, I think even the way I'm talking now, my confidence has gone a little higher. It's changed. I don't think it's more, it's a difficult conversation for me to have anymore. It was. So I'm just happy that in a period of three years, I've worked up a little bit of courage to touch on such a topic and i'm just praying that this journey of mine or this little story that i'm sharing with you will also enable you to work up some courage in whatever 
insecurity you have in whatever thing you feel holds you back and you can just um enjoy life irrespective of what tries to put you down yeah this guy did such an amazing job it was only right for me to introduce him to you guys who are in nairobi and might need his services so here is the person behind the magic so this is uh chamwasa it's a job jo- 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 is the one who's done this magic over here yeah. i'm so happy thank you very much because i'm always scared to do my nails with new people so thank you You're what's welcome. your shop the name uh, top name kenya Right, it's by Nation Center. I yeah. think that's like the most common yeah. place someone will know. I will put is it okay if I put your phone number so that they can call you yeah. and you can just hook up with them. And then to my baby sister Sharon, thank you for being so rich and blessing me. Duh. <laughs> Hi. Hi, my sister. Hi, baby girl. As I mentioned before, there were strikes and so I wasn't really sure that I was going to see some of my family members and that would have been such a bummer. So I'm so happy that at least as I was doing this other errands, I got to see my cousin, Lynette. As you saw, I was with Tracy in the previous video, so that was a checked box. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a message from me. I think the main purpose was just to share something that I know a lot of us relate with. And with that, I'd just like to leave you with saying I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. In short, tell a friend, tell a friend.